Hello, it's Peter Kerbel here from datasciencing.com. In this video, I'm going to create a Likert scale using restaurant satisfaction survey data. The categories were food, cleanliness, waiting time, reservation process, reception, and server. And the respondents ranked those categories one to four highly dissatisfied, dissatisfied satisfied and highly satisfied and here is the average score as you can see server reception scored really low and food and cleanliness scored really high so we're going to start a new worksheet here and first we're going to bring in the categories and then we'll bring in the answers into detail All right, we'll change these marks here from the automatic to the Gantt bar, and let's make this entire view. Next, I'll bring in the Gantt percent. This is going to help us fill up those bars. You can see here, these are the different responses, and we'll compute using answer. And you can see here, this is where it's starting to form our bars. Now I'll bring in the percentage. All these are calculated fields that I've already, I've already established. And so percentage is here. Oops, uh, actually that should be size. There we go. Now we got the bars. And make sure this is should be set yet. Yeah, set to uh, competing with answer. You can see these are already separated, but we can't distinguish them. So we'll change answer to color. And I'll color over here so we show us the whole view again. And we'll change these colors to something else from another screen. So we'll try, we'll pick some different colors this time. Go green, finally satisfied, satisfied with this color green. And then for satisfied, we'll pick purple. Just picking random colors, I'm not really associating them with anything specifically. This just helps distinguish so. High satisfied is dark green, and then dissatisfied is the light green, and then light purple is satisfied, and then we have the dark purple. So we can tell these two results are related, and these two results are related. Okay, and then we don't need this header. Uh, actually, we should form that first. Edit. Do a custom number. I'll go minus one. No, uh, yes, minus one to one. There we go. And we don't need to show because we can kind of already tell relation. Relate ratio of satisfied to uh, highly satisfied to satisfied, satisfied, highly satisfied by the bars. Since we got rid of the header of the values, we can uh, get rid of these lines here. Lines none, zero lines none, here axis, like those. Lines now we will fix this tooltip here so we hover, we don't need all that information. So, yeah, we don't need the GAMP percent, most people know what that is. And we'll do a percentage of answer. We'll change this to, uh, oh, there, we'll do percent and 
category above answer. Let's do one of the category first and then the answer. And there we go. Snowy so hover, you can easily see categories reception, answers highly satisfied. And percent. Uh, let's change that percent. Percent to much percent at the decimal. So we'll go right here. Go to we'll do that uh, over here. Size, format, number, percentage. There we go. And we'll go two decimal places. Sounds good. So now, oh, go format I go here. There we go. Default. Okay, just there we go. All right. All right. Now we can see the percentage two decimal places. And let's clean this up. Let's sort this by category. And we can see which ones are. So. Sort this. Actually, we'll actually probably wait till we do the average. So we'll aggregate by average. So we'll wait till we incorporate the average. Uh, into this chart, so let's go for that. All right, so I'll bring in the uh, average score. So here's average. Now right click. Some pops up here. Again, pick aggregation or the uh, how it's going to calculate. Pick average, and there we go. All right, it's picked out the uh, separate them by the highest satisfied, satisfied, and it's basically copied the. Uh, can't percent and with the colors, but we actually don't want to do that because as we saw over here, we actually just want these circles so you can just see one specific average. So we'll take out answer, answer, and we'll take out percent, and then we just get these lines. These are the average, the average score, and we don't want those Gantt bars, we want circles. And, and so now we will. Bring down average score to label. There we go. Um, let's change that to two decimal places. Should be good. Yep. And let's see. Let's. Well, here we go. alignment. Let's put it in the middle. Let's make those circles bigger. There we go. Looks better. And do we want to change the size of the, the font? Look, the bold so it's it easier to see. All right, now now you can see these are uh, these are the average scores. We need to change the tooltip. Let's see if we can reset what that does. Oh, there we go. It figured out what I wanted. Uh, Let's change the wording of it, AVT score to average. Average score. Alright. There we go. That's better. Alright, now we want these two axes to mix, so we'll go right click and dual access. And so now we need to uh, fix this. So this is actually in the right spot. The average score of this for cleanliness is 3.17. This is where it is, but this this axis we need to fix. So we'll edit the axis. And we want to fix. So the surveys went from 1 to 4. So we'll go from 1 to 4. And there we go. And so now this lines up with the camp percent we have down here. So these are in the right place now, combining with the uh, camp percent bars. And we don't need these uh, headers anymore because this is kind of self explanatory. Now, this is This is where I will. Sort these. 
Food and cleanse us, then waiting time, reservation process, reception server. And let's change these sizings. Our bar is a little bit smaller, and then we'll change the size of these circles and make them a little bit bigger. And let's go back and change actual, make these a bit smaller. The opacity of those other looks a bit faded. There we go. I don't know if that's pronounced. Because the main focus of the chart is the averages, and we just want it in relation to the bars. Don't need to notice the bars specifically right away. And yeah, depending on how. Uh, you want to make this, you can make the circles a lot bigger, or you can make the, uh, the bars it's a lot thinner. But we'll uh, leave it here for now. And next, we'll tr add the uh, demographics. So we can check the different uh, how it was by age, sex, and type of customer. So we'll try uh, type of customer. And these were casual, frequent, and one-offs. So just someone first time going there and you can see here the circles again to adjust those. But first we'll adjust the uh, type of customer to a bit more of frequency. I'm going to the restaurant now. I'll do this one manually because Tableau or most computers will understand the difference unless we rank these, which is this is just a lot easier steps so frequent and then casuals less frequent and then one offs and we can ooh, we can make those circles out smaller so we can read them better there we go and this is a depending on how you want to analyze your data if you want to just look at food you can compare the uh, Responses from your frequent casual and one-off customers, or if we just slide customer on this side, it'll break it down by by the uh, type of customer first. So you can see the frequent customers and see how they responded, and, and then the casual and one-off. So if you want to focus improvements in your restaurant on satisfying the frequent customers, you could focus on here. In this situation, they all seem to be ranking reception and server as the lowest. So if you do focus on helping out your or improving quality for your uh, frequent customers by improving the reception server, that will also then incidentally help the uh, responses from your casual and one-off customers. But again, if you wanted to focus here on which ones are worse overall, it's the same situation here. Casuals are a bit more okay with the server quality, but uh, frequent and one off customers still have a low, low a response or low satisfaction for the server. And, and also, then you can reward, see who to reward. Uh, food is top, so you can reward the uh, Kitchen staff and cleanliness also get the highest, second highest marks there. So let me just do it over here because it's a bit easier. Break things up, and then again, if you want, you can actually make these bars a little thicker for uh, presentation purposes. It's a bit easier to see, and then you can also check out by here age. I already created bins, oh, wait a minute, uh, let's do 20 years, oh, no, I didn't, here's my, oh, here's my bin, so, 
these are in groups of 20, age groups 24 and 60. And so you can again focus on your demographics of 20 year, 20 year olds, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, and 60 plus, and see who you want to market to. And then we can also check by this, the sex of the customer. So we can again look at just food, male and female, about the same for food, just a bit more disparity with the cleanliness and very close satisfaction here with the reception and server. We can switch around and look just female customers and just male customers. And again, you can you know, use that whichever way you want for marketing and for improvements and rewarding uh, your staff. Yeah, so it's like art scale. It's quick, easy. You can see the average and kind of, especially here, you can kind of get a good Good indication of percent. So, eight percent of customers, with casual customers here, responded with they're highly satisfied with the food, and you can tell easily averages. If you need to uh, just do a quick visualization to uh, figure out where you need to make improvements and such. Thank you for watching.